separates. Good work. Moves out of the way. Very nice. Keep switched on on the feet, though. You never know. There's a good shot from Puelles. Front kick to the body. Hooker hurt him. Oh, I think he hurt him with that. Chat, what do you think? That looked like he kind of felt that body shot. I feel like he felt that body shot. Yes or no, chat? Yeah, he felt that body shot. He literally just fell over. He's hurt to the body. He literally just fell over to nothing there just to get away. <clears throat> Come on, Dan Hooker. Punches to the body. Dip down, straight right to the body. Bat. Puella's just doing nonsense now. Front kick to the body hurts him bad. Finish him, Dan Hooker. He's hurt. It's over. Wow, there you go. Nice. Round two TKO. I got it. Pathetic finish, but there you go. What a pathetic bitch Claudio Puelles is, I'll tell you. But good stuff. Round two. I said it. Dude, Puelles. Who picked him? Who the fuck picked that cunt? I told you he was trash. I told you he was trash and overrated. And Dan Hooker didn't even look good. I told you he's overrated, dude. I literally said the same thing with Ryan Hall, Ilya Tapuria. He's got nothing other than, like, the mystique of the leg lock. <clears throat> Boom. Right to the stomach. Thank you for the $2. Plum Bob, embarrassing, retire. <laughs> Puella is 26, retire. Okay. Thank you for the $2. That was prime soy jitsu. I know, dude. That was prime shit jujitsu right there. <laughs> oh, that's, I mean, at least, uh, uh, you know what, though? I feel like he's just going to lose to the next guy. So I'm worried. But we'll see how he looks, I guess. Hopefully he has a call out. We'll see who he calls out. He'll probably try call out. I don't know. Gamrot? I don't know. Fiziev? Maybe. I don't know. Tony? No, he shouldn't call out Tony. We'll see. Maybe he will. Maybe. That'd be a good move for him. Thank you for the $2, Claudio de Beju Puelles. <laughs> God did. Nice. They don't believe in us. God did. Okay, little. He just wants Perth. Whatever. There you go. <laughs> God, dude. Okay, you thought like an app. <laughs> Puelles is literally a bun. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, let's, let's, let's just be real. You know, this wasn't like a, oh, Dan Hooker holds the gates. Like, Puelles, you know, arguably should have lost to Jordan Levitt. Like, let's, let's be real here. But all good. Dude, he's terrible. Puelles is terrible. I I knew it. I knew he was terrible. I literally said he has nothing on the feet for Dan Hooker. I'm so glad I got that. Not even just for the prediction. I'm glad that Dan Hooker didn't just lose. That would have killed the vibe. <clears throat> Imagine if Puelles was just trying to hold in a massive flood of diarrhea. <laughs> oh, Jesus. He would have let it out on that body shot. 100%. You versus Puelles kickboxing match. It'd genuinely be close. Weasel pick Puelles. You can't. I mean, they can be justified because he came close to getting a leg in round one. You know? So in that way, you can justify it a little bit. Because he has jiu-jitsu and he came close to getting a leg in round one. But, you know, he never should have even been in that position. 
Like, literally the only reason they pushed him to get a ranked opponent in like Dan Hooker that's like kind of the only beatable one he can fight is because he's the UFC Espanol commentator and they're pushing him. Polez is a foot fetish. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the $2. He looked worse than Tony. I'll be honest, Dan Hooker looked slow as fuck, and I don't like his chances against anyone actually good. So we'll see. But what I would like to see is like a Dan Hooker Bobby Green in Australia. That'd be cool. I wouldn't mind that. That'd be a great matchup. 